Ah, Bob Gale, I'm going to Bob Gale! Let me do it! What a start, eh? What a chance of the coffee. What an explosion. I was like, me this morning. Rubbish. Crap. How are we all doing, boys? All right? So this is, this week... For the viewers, it is the staff week, the Broomhouse staff. Evan, because you scored new travel with Brothers, you've come in, pal. How are you doing? Aye, yeah, good. So obviously, Brothers got me a call off, didn't he? So, Brothers, was I he one of the the way here? Was he saying he was he chopping to get on? Aye, he was having me, me comments. And yeah, then I was like, you shite it. No, no, no. I'll take the manager off. That's what he said. Well, the wee manager's there. The wee manager's there. And breaking news, the Premier League podcast cancelled. <laughs> <laughs> How are you, man? Me, all right? Brilliant, mate. Brilliant. That Some roommate, wasn't it? Oh, that was eventful, wasn't it? Oh, for fuck. start to finish. Do you remember the point? I, I can remember it was Friday. Well, it was early hours on a Saturday. I was naked and had you wrestled. Do you remember? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. Had tied up? I had, no, I had these two legs like that. They couldn't get me ever. I swear to God. See, because it's a bit of fucking hard, man. How'd you do that? Yep, man. You said that to me in the bus, eh? You're like, I'm going to go for his ankles. So, <laughs> so it's not your bottoms in the leg, are you? Kev, how are you, big boy? Yeah, I'm good. I'm just looking forward to hearing, obviously. The main man Jim here. Well, I'm just about to get him. That's why I've kept you alive. Jim Lord, the hero out of the way. Boy, Jim Lord! Oh, oh, the Jimmy Shuffle cover! No, 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 no. no. <laughs> hey, hey. That's a one in, that's a one in three, ah. Uh. You love cracking people, Jim, don't you? No, I don't crack people. Headlocks, isn't it? Headlocks, isn't it? It's, it's chocolate. But we've done it, chocolate. By the way, see that Didi stuff? It's made me famous. We went up to Stonehaven to see a client. My boss was talking about football. And he's like, Jim's be open call. And he's like, is it your goalie coach right now? Do you do this? <laughs> 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 I've no way. I've no. You saw, but on the way up, Jim, we're going to get to it, but you did crack a few people though, didn't you? Brock was one that got it. I know, but Brock went to Spain on holiday and came back Spanish. He like should run Moss, about right? a Vamos, what's that all about? Then you got somebody in a sleeper hold, didn't it? That was same thing. Same thing. Same thing. Regan and all. Regan gets a fair amount of time. Why is Regan a wee bit? Because he travels with him, did not it? Do you hear him in the highlights, Brock? You can actually hear him shouting it. When, I, when, when simple it. scores. Vamos. He's like, Vamos. 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 Are you honest? He's put on his Instagram or not? Vamos. That's, that's, that's a fine, isn't it? Aye. Where does the anger come from? Jim, that inside where you just go for people now again? It's all doors, isn't it? used to go on the doors, isn't it? So he did. Were you? You were on the doors, Jim, again for your life? Mother care. John Boots. Well, boys, listen. Not with Hatton Foot, who knows wins. Download the Who Knows Win app to play and join the Scottish Pick 10 League for your chance to win big cash and monthly prize of a signed open goal Broomhill FC top new lads. Before we go to the the unbelievable journey up at Bucky, we have to go to the draw yesterday, brothers. What did you make of the draw, mate? I'm just happy it's a home. Yeah. To be honest, I would have took MD um, to challenge myself, but to get a League One side, it's, it's good for us. We're good for the boys. Um, I think. They should be looking forward to it, but it's going to be a difficult tie, no going away from it. Team yeah, Alan, yeah. And I've got a good manager yeah. under Brian. Um, so it'll be a difficult test, but I think we've got to go in with positives. Mm-hmm. Um, we're on a nine game unbeaten. Uh, we're looking well. Uh, a very good one at the weekend, especially a difficult place. So nothing to fear, but a, a good test with a very good League One side. Evan, see, see with, with, with the players and stuff like that, do, do players, do you think, look at a draw and think, well, listen, we want a big game in the championship like a party fist or something or and there's no I heard people saying you want a sort of game you can go and win there's no sort of games out there you can just say well beat MD but the players think well I want the big tie or was there any boys saying it in heaven? Uh, nobody really mentioned it to be fair I think no. we were all just wasn't to be at that stage like considering mm-hmm. the start of the season as well like yeah. where we've all came for it's brilliant but mm-hmm. again as, as he says I don't think we've got into fear like, yeah. most of these boys have played in League One and yeah. even higher than that so um, even the likes of Semple and Brock and that have came from Murrow and the likes of Brothers with Inverness last season and obviously the career he's had before yeah. that so I don't think we're inexperienced at that level mm-hmm. um, I know it'll obviously be a difficult game and it'll be a, it'll be a test for us but I don't think it's I mean, well spoken how well is that you just said outstanding that, right? well, amazing, <laughs> amazing son amazing. he was writing that down the water on the way up <laughs> he knew he was coming on didn't <laughs> <laughs> that was last night he was writing for that man yeah, 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 he's getting one hand on this is been set up I had a text him saying we need to go early and he texts back saying right. I'm coming I've got a chance of getting on this properly Dave did you make it draw big man for the side I think it's a it's a tie that fits what, the kind of mix of no having like a, you know like your freezer bars and that that are still in it wicks your sockies and that that are still in it but 
like he's just alluded to, the fact that most of the players in that team have played league football or been at bigger clubs at some point, they'll feel getting that opportunity to play a league one side and another. Or it's like, a, here we go again. We can deal with this. We can handle this. This will be a big opportunity. And I don't think you have to look beyond that. I just you take care, hopefully try and take care of all that home, big park. Mm-hmm. Like say Broder says, nine games on run. I don't win the, when is the actual cup tie? 26. Oh, yeah. November. Yeah. Yeah. So you're looking at that thinking, right, okay, can we get another couple of wins before then? 10, 11 games on the bounds. It'll be, it'll be a right good game. But listen, nothing to fear because the boys have the quality to compete with anybody now, I think. Brilliant. Absolute Absolute deal. This is the first team we play this year for the SPFL. How tough will it be? Really, I've never had an easy game against Alwa. Played against them a lot. Have you, met? Yep. <clears throat> we Queen of the South and that, and never had an easy game. Only good thing it's at their stadium. Mm-hmm. And I think that um, they're on the boys, they're on the, there is nothing to fear. Um, they've got a good manager, good players, but so have we. See, see through your career, did you ever think um, when you're up against you're the underdog and you're playing a team a few leagues, how do you, can boys sort of be put off of that though? Aye, but you can get it otherwise. No free hit as such, but you're not expected to. You're underdog, so you can go and have a real go at it, see what it takes mm-hmm. you. I think it's a good one for the boys to see the whereabouts there. I think Slaney, we've talked about it on another podcast and, and here we are, that I don't think the gulf between where we are the now to that point is a massive gulf. If you're thinking maybe, say, if we go down to England and you're sitting Hartlepool, maybe middle of the table in League 2 and you're getting drawn against Stoke away, you're thinking, right, OK, the disparity is huge. Mm-hmm. But Lowland League... To football league for me is not, I don't think it's a huge, you've just got to look at the examples of Bonnie Rig Rose that come up, Kelly Hearts that come up, promoted again, Bonnie Rig Rose sitting top of the thing of the league, then you look at Cove and Queen's Park, of quickly going through the leagues, Queen's Park now would, just, would I say sitting top or second in the Same, championship, looking mm-hmm. to put automatic, like, so for me that's there, so I don't think it's a huge thing to think, yep, great, it's a league one side, but nothing to fear. Have any brothers dealt Jim, you involved Emmy. Any's ever been knocked out with an underdog? Aye. But have you? Bad one. Aye. Uh, Airdrie, we got knocked out. I think it was. I think it was Cove when they were still in the Highland League. Knocked us it. Came down and they get two goals and I think in the last ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Knocked us it. The Scottish, I think that was the second round or third round maybe. Mm-hmm. That was no, a bad you know, one. the Scottish and Champions League and Europa League qualifiers. Oh, aye. With Rangers and Commander. Is it hard, brothers, when you when you're the sort of favourites going into a, a game, or because oh, see what you can say they're not free yeah. hit, but almost the pressure's Rage all. Raise a game, then raise a game. Is it hard to um, deal with that? I think it's a mindset, isn't it? Like mm-hmm. you need to get into the game if you're the if you're the underdog, you're going in there to say I'm better than you. I should be at that level. Hundred percent. And if if you're the favourites, you're going in there thinking. You should be going in there saying, I've got a wee bit of bit here, I'm going to show you, you're not at my level. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, so, it's, it's a mindset, if you go in as a favourite with that wee bit, like, don't need to turn up, the day should win, you get turned over. That's when you do get turned over. Because these boys, these boys are wanting to show, and that, that's what I hope our boys do when it comes to that. Turn up and say, I, I should be at this level, mm-hmm. or I want to go to a higher yeah, level, I'm, I'm going to show you. Yeah. So, yeah. hopefully everybody's on it that night, because yeah. we need everybody on it. I don't think say, we can need- have... Three or four off it, we no. need everybody. Yeah. Yeah. League One's probably one of the hardest leagues this year. The ah, teams are quality, you're looking at, you've, get, you've got Dunfermans, you have Falkirk, all of our Erdry's struggling Queen of the South. Erdry are struggling mm-hmm. now, but Erdry will come back. And of course, aye. They, they do it every year, Jim, they? League, they do it every aye. year, but you know, they started the season flying, you know, in recent days will turn it around, you know, so. But it's a really, really hard league this year. Yeah. And there's, there's, there isn't much. And you look at Queen of South that have dropped down for the Championship, they'll, they're slowly creeping back up. And they're full time. They're full time. They had two, two or yeah. three wins or not. Unless exactly. Three. But see, Jim, when it, when it comes to the game, how important is it? This place here is going to be a full house. It's got to be bouncing. It's got, got to be in it. It's got to be. We, James, does a great job with the lights. You love it, don't you? Love is it your, genuinely, though, is it your music <laughs> or playing? Aye. Uh, it's in it. It's got to be. It's a one in thing, I tell you that before. It's a one in thing. The shuffle end. 
Shuffle right, in. right, lads, the dates will be on the screen for the tickets very soon, I'm sure of that. And even just before we go, before you go and the, the wee manager is going to come in <laughs> to take your place. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to you or your goal Evan, when you came on in school, pal. How special a feeling was that? Uh, I know, it was, it was brilliant. Um, obviously, I think we were kind of at the stage of the game, we were going through quite a tough spell. They were coming at us a wee mm -hmm. bit. Um, I think it was a bit against the run of play, so... Um, no, I was, I was buzzing. I was getting a wee bit of stick to be fair before the goal. So, um, and then I, what did they for, say the, for the side, you know, that side were loud. Well, down that left hand side. I'm going to take credit for that wee man. I says, get the wee man on. If he gets a chance, he'll score. <laughs> Cheers, Bill. Turn on, Gaffer. Well, some goal though, mate, wasn't it? Eh, I like, I, I kind of thought at the time that he was maybe going to flag me offside, but. The fullback, had, I thought, was really tight between me and him. Um, the centre half kind of stepped up, and I'm thinking, I don't know if he's going to flag here, but um, obviously when it came through, just trying at the target was just getting a main thing going through my head, and then get a wee bit of carried away with the celebration. No, it's what the cookie brilliant. Evan, you've been absolutely brilliant on the fresh up. We'll get the B man back on. Evan, Sai, Sai, how are you, mate? I never thought I'd need to do this again. I thought it was not like I was going through a fucking losing streak that I was on this wee shitty thing, but... That's why you came on, man. You thought you were getting sacked, man. Don't like it to be honest, always, well, mate. Wait, mate. Here's your staff here, Sai. How the fuck did you pluck us together? Great, what a staff by you. Brilliant, mate. Need to say, put it on camera, I couldn't ask for a better staff. Well, we were saying on the Buzz Brothers was in amongst the other boys, getting absolutely blutered, mate. I don't know how you've done that. Honestly... I even offered uh, them to come and say, sure no, 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 I'm oh, fine. Some of the I boys the just bar. laughing at everybody. Ah, it was a good laugh. Great bunch of boys. Great what was it? What was the best thing you seen, brothers? <laughs> I'm allowed to say. That's <laughs> <laughs> it. Well, there was a couple who got a wee bit naked and there was <laughs> helicopters and that coming out. <laughs> the chip of I thought I could smell you all the way through the front. <laughs> that was his ass. Uh, <laughs> well, 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 who did you look in the toilet and when they let them out? You get a lot of people in the toilet, that's right. It was I Tammy, the fitness coach. <laughs> I heard him screaming. He was a legend, I know. Where, where is he? Uh, uh, where is that? Where is he? Tammy? To Manchester. Couldn't get day release. Me, Jeffrey Dahmer, can he get out? Even the Friday night over the start. I thought I sat in that, but that was brilliant. Did you think at that point, brothers? I want to chuck playing, but you've seen all the staff having a wee drink. A wee bit, aye. It was good banter and that, but I was just, nah, once I got to 11, I knew I had to get to my bed. But wait, right, Dale, start for the journey, six o'clock at Broadway, mate, take it away. Hey. Probably, mate, I was sitting beside you, wasn't I? That was the worst thing about it. I was sitting beside you, and then I get roomed up with you. No, 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 no. Yeah, before we go there, I'll never forget. Now, the bus was just lively. You were watching the game for a couple of weeks ago, weren't no. you? Getting there, stuff with Jim. Do you be live boys talking? And then a whiff of fucking Indian came here. The oh, Sets brothers, mate. his man's <laughs> gave him an Indian takeaway for the pre match meal. Diane, what a woman as well. I, what a woman, but it actually was how it made it. was chicken rice, but it was. Nan Brenda, brothers, what's you went and checked, didn't you? I couldn't believe it. I thought it was a takeaway, yeah. I was. But the smell was an Indian. Oh, yeah. I oh, honestly, I've been all the way. I'm a hoagie. I'm a hoagie. I'm a hoagie. I'm a hoagie. Somebody's got a hoagie on the bus. Fucking brilliant. And then he washed it, didn't my five litre bottle of arms. Says it was nice. Two sugar on it. Two sugar on it. Six o'clock broad. It was at night time, aye. Yeah. Sat on the Friday chair, aye. She's got me late. No, well, half no, that, 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 that was not that far away. We stayed in Aberdeen, Kev. Ah, oh, that was good. I stayed in Aberdeen at all. But the journey was good because we did. I was speaking we were talking about it yesterday. We stopped off at Asda, mate, wasn't it? What did you get for Asda? Condoms, wasn't it? Who the fuck's a Johnny? A dildo. I can see the big man checking out every other week. There was some bizarre buys in Asda, wasn't there? Oh. Oh, Guys Fraser. I never Guys Fraser. Somebody hoodie. bought a hoodie. <laughs> Sorry, he did. Guys are. But the Sims brothers are a one off, honestly. Oh, they're brilliant, they're too, they? Two heroes. I found the they built bunk beds when we got there. <laughs> <laughs> That's what kept me and Gibble up all night. <laughs> so, talk about that when we get there. We arrive at the hotel. There's a Aww. message that goes in the coaches chat saying, the Coaches, come down, we'll get a wee drink. And we get down about 15 20 minutes later, and you and Gil are still at the reception. Fucking steam coming out your ears. <laughs> what did right. Jim tell the, the viewers? What what was the deal here? How did you how were you still at the reception then? First attempt we got up to the room, it's a double bed, fat, no chance. <laughs> down the stair, George is like, surely to God you could just go, no, we're not doing it. <laughs> On your way. Tell. Tell. No chance. 
second one we got was there. Right, this one's two singles, got us there. It was a king size. It was like, no chance, we're not doing it. Back down, George is, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Third time, do we get it? Two beds, it was good. That was us. We woke up in the morning and the Saints brothers walked by us having breakfast and they turned my fucking fuming and said that you and Gibble kept them up all night. I don't know, they were making bum beds. No, <laughs> that's not genuinely, but they used my fucking... The twos were just howling, we were just having what a laugh. What were you doing again? <laughs> <laughs> we were only doing like you and Dale. <laughs> there was, uh, was rumours that guys and Jamie Semper were watching Naked Attraction together. Naked thought, Attraction. And they were, but they were naked watching it as well. <laughs> I, no, I'm being serious. First to go. Oh, right, was it? Was that? Right. Mate, they're a strange, but they're, a, they're a great bunch, but they're, there's a, a few strange, strange bunch, characters, isn't, isn't there? Bit Very strange bunch, but the, the boy genuinely, the mini simps, if you remember, he ignored us in the, in the morning. Uh, what right by us? Because he said June Gibble up uh, all night laughing. We're only up all night. Three o'clock. <laughs> June Gibble have a wee baby in the room because the coaches all stopped, didn't we, early on? You're not really there to fucking 12 o'clock. Well, they stopped getting served drink at 12, so what do we have? So cut the glass Did June Gibble alone? We had a wee couple. Did you? How did you manage that? There's no drink getting served. Gibble brought a nice weekend out up for us. Well arranged. <laughs> what was it? Buck first? Aye. Is it? Mad dog. And then me and Cammy, our fitness coach, got up half seven in the morning. Tell the truth. We yeah. jump on the intervals. So he, he's came off after three intervals and he's telling, he's, I heard him out of use, I actually managed six, six and then just is. three, mate. Was it three? Three, aha. Uh, to be fair, I don't know. How can your fitness coach, no, fitness coach not do that, mate? Ten intervals, one minute intervals. He's close. Fair, he was blazing, but wasn't he? He's close <laughs> to getting the sack after <laughs> you, that performance. You tell I'm telling you. Him, ah, he was blazing. He was doing my, my nothing, man. <laughs> what did you see it again? Remember when he said he was in trying to order pizza at 12 o'clock at night? Pizza's one o'clock. You got a chance for come? him 20 quid to keep the reception. But then you went away, you were in your room next door to uh -huh. us. And I'm like, Tim, is the pizza coming? He says, no, I said, what the fuck are you doing in my room, girl? Before we go to the bus for the game, me and him come down and lit beetroots. Have you ever seen coaches doing that? No. Like have you ever seen that? Have I said to him, after we had breakfast, I said, we'll go for a sauna. It was a wee bit rough, weren't you, mate? We'll go for a sauna, steam room, swim. He came down with a pair of shorts, on stuck rock shorts, with a vest. Is it a Chicago vest? Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls. Chicago Bulls. And a sauna, steam room, but kept the vest on. Nah. I woman in... Well, he's the same colour as a basketball <laughs> as well, isn't it? Was it a job in 23 come out when he took the tap off? Was it printed to his face? Unreal. Well, that unreal not to get up. Seriously, I'm not enjoying joking. He keeps on fucking thumping. Does it? Oh no, that's because he digged you. Did he not dig you in the heart on Saturday? He heard about this. No. He's celebrating, giving it the big end, he just went, fuck you, on the side <laughs> of the pitch. Right, it's like that. Brothers, all the way up, he does that in my end, you fucking bastard. Every, every time I turn around, he's right at me. So we scored, and I've turned around to celebrate, and he's right at me again. I fucking hit him the ribs, you went down. To be fair, I had a chuckle when you put uh, up on Instagram about the... Oh, the <laughs> still game. game. I had a wee chuckle with <laughs> the two of them. Because like he's like that, and you're like that, I hit him. And then you put the, the real one, he's just shouting in my ear. <laughs> Do you know the weird thing is, us two never talking, us. What were you shouting? Did what they shout at all? I, I wonder what they're just I'm, going. I <laughs> it must have been well, that you I know what, it was this after the second goal. Watching the game back as well, it's hard to watch the game back because the duck is brilliant. I'm just watching the duck at you. Jump yeah, about it. Bro, I couldn't even concentrate on the game because of their, their dug out next to us, honestly. I was yeah, like, man. get next to me and I fucking give them. I thought at the start of the game uh, when he was a bit lively. And you, you didn't say something to him, but I think it was a wee bit. I thought this was going to kick off a day. Because he was like, ah, they'll get you. Talk about him and cook, they'll get you. And I went, they'll no. fucking get you. Aye, stupid aye, quick, no, 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 but the first one was we shot for the kick aye, off. Was anyway, a... oh, at least I've had a shot in target. Oh, did oh, yeah, he that, yeah, that, 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 that was his first thing for we kick off Gary Fraser shot and he went at least I've had a shot. I'm a hat fair enough. I think that's kinda of how I think he admits it himself, that's their kind of thing. Because they didn't let the and that, have you said I don't mind it at all. No, nah, it's fine. You're there to go and win, aren't you? Of course you are. Uh, but, but they were lively. Right, you can back it up, eh? No, they are a good team though. Again, if you, yeah. I don't know if you've mentioned if it was my podcast, I they they've not been beat for two years at home. Nah, no one to mention that. I'm just a bit of color. <laughs> <laughs> that was have the next slide. You want me to sit there? <laughs> Sorry, have they no, no. <laughs> no, they've not been beat two years at home in the league. I, know that. I think Allo and Inverness and Linfield beat them in cups, but at home in the league, not been beat two years. You tell them they're a decent team, aren't you? Aye. Yeah, the wee bit about them. Yeah, Aye. that first 10 minutes, I was just sitting there sitting back in that bus. What, Sai, see when you're saying oh, that? How did you? Sorry, so pieces sorry, though, sorry. See when you're saying that, Jones. two of them were fouls on him. Ah, one you're of right. the keepers, sorry. I agree. When he went up, punched it out to get whacked after it, he's in the deck, doesn't he get it? One, he's in front of the boy for a keeper to come out, pulls him back, mm. and he lets the boy through, he gives it. I was, so that's two. Sorry, but I was just buzzing watching the game back when I get booked. 
and has their managers like, right up at the linesman mm -hmm. target. And Thank you're you. doing right at them. I was like, I wish I was there. I was excited to get involved. You'll be shouting, fuck off, you're dicking and running behind somebody. He's pushing his hair. He's like, that. It was him. Have you seen him? Uh, Brothers, what did you make of the game itself? Uh, as I said, the uh, first 10 minutes, it was backs against the wall. See, at that point, brothers, when, when they, it was almost like a barrier attack, what are you feeling on the pitch then? I'm just trying to shout to the boys, like, when we get it, we need to keep it. Mm, Can right, you keep getting them at back? Because right. the, their game was obviously go long, play off seconds, set plays, pop our box. But you're just you're getting the ball and you're like, make one or two passes, keep mm. the ball a wee bit. Um, you're just trying to calm. Because uh, when we were winning it back, we were just getting them at straight back and it was coming. But I was just like... You knew it was coming because, mm -hmm. as I said, they've, they've not been beat there for two years. It's a cup tie. They're going to come at you, but we weathered the storm. Uh, they've had some great saves, to be fair mm -hmm. to them. Uh, we got through that, and then I think we controlled it after yeah, that. Yeah, I, like, that. Generally, I don't remember in the game thinking, oh, we're under a wee bit of yeah. pressure here. I generally thought we controlled the game on one of the worst pitches I've played on, to be mm -hmm. fair. Um, we passed, we tried to pass the ball, we kept it, we sucked them out. Um, yeah, when they score to make it 2-1, they have a wee hump come at you a wee bit. But then we, get, we go and get the third and the game's dead after that. We just keep the ball and see it out. I see you calling it down. The boys did it for the side, brothers. When they, when, scored, they, when they scored, they were calm down. Mm. Ah, it's been a couple of weeks, few, five weeks ago. We'd have been out of place. Uh, 100%. That's where uh, they've been, especially him, Cookie, Gaz and Conroy. I'd call, especially, I'd call it Saturday, Conroy and brothers were the two that, when everyone else was kicking it, it was... Ball doing play, even if it was going back to Div to put that extra mm -hmm. pass and just yeah. to get a wee bit of control in the game. And then other the, the younger boys started to see yep. that and started to do it. And like you say, I thought we started to control the game, mm -hmm. even 11 v 11. Yeah. So I see what you said to them, what you told them during the week, sorry, when you told them what they would do, play it the other left back, and they, they done that, they wouldn't go in. Yeah, yeah. That was early doors, that's where they get one of their chances for. Who, your chances? No, theirs. Remember oh, you right, said uh, that's uh, where yeah, they're yeah, trying yeah. to the wee boy comes off the wing inside. Yeah, done inside that. Uh, yeah, yeah. You're always at your most vulnerable when you score. That's with the first five minutes after that. So to have that presence of mind that as in Broders and more of the senior yep. players, just to calm things down and like you say, the other players to recognise that, right, okay, we've got the goal, let's settle down and then we'll set again, we'll go again. I think that's mad, like huge in this league to have experience at that. But you can't kind of just pick and choose, you can't kind of just shout oh. because we're under coach, kick the ball because Div yep. tries to play one to Jim Grant and it gets caught out and they get a shot and Jim yep. said, and I made a point of shouting to Div, Brilliant, Div. Keep keep trying to play. Uh -huh. yeah. You need we need to because that's that's the players that we've got. Eh? There's no point in us yeah. kicking the ball to the pitch. Yeah. I just right. touch it in, but Div's feet were. Hey, what a goal theirs was, wasn't it? What a oh, finish! That's, 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 that's a great finish. image, a great player. Him. So you Every goal we get, link of the Cali Braves goal, mate. I watched that back. Aye. There's actually nothing you can do better. Cookie's in a good position. Conroy takes. It doesn't show him inside. Shows him back. Aye. And the guy's just put his but, foot round it and right in the top corner. Saturday was the same. You're saying there on Saturday, let him hit it. Yeah, fair enough. There's been a few this season, that, aye, the Cali like Braves. the Cali Braves, the free kick from East Cobride, East Cobride Berwick's free like kick, Berwick's free kick. That's some of the, like that we we've got a hell of a goalkeeper, mm. but some of these goals that people are scoring, there's none you get. But they are like I would say in some games crucial goals because East Cobride was that to make it two two, two two. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he doesn't hit that free kick. You're still two one. You think the Berwick one that puts you under pressure. That one Saturday is an equaliser. Top bins. It's and then obviously the Cali Braves they go one nil up. So they don't hit the top bend corners. Maybe the game's a bit, but listen, that's football, but showing great character just to continue doing what you're doing the right things and end up winning the game 3-1. I know you're going to say comfortable, but it looks comfortable on the scoreline. Yeah. Down the road, buzzing, draw Monday, here we go again. But even like the first goal, you need to give Brock the credit because against Cali Braves, when we started the game, the two wide players are far too deep and we said before the game, Semps had to end up running across centre-back, centre-back. So Brock's in the position he should be in. Mm -hmm. uh, Aidan does great to read the... Yeah. Chip out and then Callum a great pass to Brock. Finished it well enough. Oh, it must be good though, as a manager uh, for all years, when that's when we said we were going to work, work on, on it, and, that's, and then you get the goal from it's it. Mm -hmm. well, that's what the buzz is, uh, with, isn't it? Yeah. Seaside's obviously saying that they, like he said obviously before the, the week, and we can talk about it now. He said that they are maybe direct some some parts. See when he's saying that to you as you're a defender, you're going to obviously have to deal with that. Does that suit you? Then being direct, winning the balls, maybe and then you're getting your boys running about you to pick up the seconds. Do you know what I mean? In terms of that type of game up there away from home, did that suit the fact that we'll, we'll go direct? Because you could deal with that easily. Actually, have you? You've you've um, done well doing that your whole career. I will. You Not know to say you kind of did stopping boys going down the side because I know you did that as well. At the end but, of the day, like me going and having a wee rumble with a striker suits me. Um, mm. To be honest, getting up for headers and things yeah. like that. But. 
it didn't really bother me. Like, even coming in in the seconds, there was no times where there was probably I could have just put it right up the line, yeah. and I didn't. I reversed oh, it into guys, and yeah. then we played him out the other side. Even though at any point, any of could have slipped because yeah. the pitch was was Can't soft, not. it was gone. There was, right. You couldn't get an yeah, eye heavy. You could see that with Cookie went away, that diag, yeah. brother, didn't you? He's, he's just he's that wee slip before he went, yeah, just going from. Yeah. So I think it's, it's credit to Sai and credit to the boys that he's got the... He'll put that on us to play no matter what the pitch is like and the boys will, will they go and play. It's, it's what we said. Because there was one that it got played back to me and I'm in my own box and I slipped. And I'm out yeah. for a corner. Mate, that was actually... I was buzzing off that. Cookies passed it to you in the six-yard box. You went and played back I, to Denver. Huh? My feet went away from me. I slipped. But um, maybe they moan. We just look... We just go on, we'll play huh? again. Yeah. It helps when you can put it in the midfield and you get like a guy's mate a good deal with it, isn't it? The, the freedom, Aidan, Matty. Matty get man marked. You ever seen that in the only game? It's not a tackle, so you watch the match. Ma to be fair, their managers did say that we man marked Matty. You could see it in June again, but him everywhere everything. he went, he was just following my book. Cause uh -huh. I, That's credit to Matty. Aye. Do you, do you, he, the moment they haven't just watched, and if you look at the last few games, he has been a top performer. In terms yeah, of definitely. Like, but even score. what everybody was good, but especially like Brock, he went through a spell there where he couldn't score. Yeah. yeah. And he was working hard, but now he's he's found his feet, he's finishing, he got what a goal and an assist at the Simon weekend. You'd so hate to play against him. I think I was one of his best games. Shouting, va shouting Van Moss when he scores in the fucking high. I need to stop, 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 every goal. Especially if fans are due a jump one to batter us. Walk Rafa, walk Rafa, pack shouting at You had him in a fucking choke hole before the game, has that been spoken about? Aye. Choke time out. Sleep up. Aye, you did that, said that. Sleep up, denied it. I never had Nearly put his steps to sleep. And then see when they played that the big show music, mate. I was oh, fucking I pushing myself. Unbelievable. It was a big show. <laughs> and by the way, we'll not just finish here. I'm going to I'm going to ask you about how proud you were of Dave, but before we go, I'd never heard of this in my whole life in football, right? And this guy at the, the left hand side of me, done it this season, done a shite. Uh -huh. Jim Lowe's now joined the club and uh, done a shite during the game. What's wrong well, with you, man? What's going on here? Go for a shite of one again. Did you Shouldn't mean, he? During the game? Yeah. During, during the game, mate. It's good luck. It's good luck. I he thought it's maybe good luck before the game. Who did it? Edinburgh subs. Ah, oh, that's his shit. I'm getting in. I must have thought <laughs> goal or not. <laughs> I know, but you're only going to take a paper in there. To my pants. Can we after the game? Get those in there, wouldn't you? 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 Look at him being the big shit. He's a laugh at that. He's in the big shit, so I'm going to crack him. He's been shy, so. That's why I'm in there. I'm having you in the life. I'm in there. Hey, Jim. How proud were you to see Div? He's been immense. He's been immense all season. Have you Had you worked with Div before in the summers? I think seen him last season, uh, LJ played Steny in a, a closed door game on a Saturday and he was he was good that game. So it was obviously something that I kept an eye on, but he's come in, he's, he's brilliant. He, he just, both, both the goalies are good, they want to work, they want to work hard. You know, Basel's been here a few years, but Dove's just, he takes everything on and just wants to work hard. And he's, he, he's just getting better, you know, mm -hmm. but that game on Saturday, that was so brave, isn't it? Unbelievable, that? especially in that last minute, that touch pound well, it down for the sky. It, it, your reaction is natural thing is just to kick out the park, isn't it? Right up the especially park. Especially when you're saying that the pitch was horrendous to take the touch Aye. and then pass it. It's cool as fucking. Brilliant. Isn't it? I'm saying put it in the channel, get a draw. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Brock, he's another one that like he could Brock, go, mate. He could go. Aye. He could he's do another one stuff. like Brock, who's maybe had a couple of errors. No, errors, but a couple of goalkeeping errors and er earlier in the season. Mm. But he just keeps doing what he believes in. Okay, and that's heart, important. The, the you have to game, have to that. that. The, the Hearts game is coming out and he's trapped it. Five minutes later, he's coming right out again and just took it. Yep. So he's no. Uh, no it doesn't bother him. It doesn't bother him. Nah, that, that's what's good about this place. We, again, not, not just me, but us. We, 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 didn't, we know boys are going to make mistakes. So that's probably because it's come from you, Simon. You're saying that, guys, I'm not bored if you're making mistakes as long as you're trying to do the right thing. Again, maybe at the start, I thought that, Kev, as well. But when I see the older, I think the older guys have been brilliant because my, my worry when older p players, when they came in, Kev, was. I'm going to tell boys not make, I don't care if they make mistakes I'm not going to shout at you but I understand I've been that older player where you get so fucking frustrated and you end up screaming at people my message means nothing if an older player's constantly shouting at boys for getting the ball away so they've been brilliant because ultimately when I'm playing it's on the pitch the people I listen to the of older course, players who are standing five yards for you so again they, they need to take massive credit Corn, uh, Cornoy, Cookie, Brothers guys nice. for how they are with the younger boys because I've been there you get so frustrated with younger boys when they get the ball away and I, at the start I maybe seen that with the boys but now they're they're just passing on that fucking message on the pitch and I feel like I don't even need to shout on boys it's fine, relax and play they're just, they're just going to do it themselves now Aye, it so it's a massive credit to them on the pitch for the side it does seem for you 
I don't mean you've calmed down, but you're mere children. No, definitely. You know I mean, I think that shit was always going to happen, especially when you've got the the senior players. Dinner. But Rodgers, see when see when you've you've came here and size ass duty sort of play the certain way. I, I, I couldn't believe this on Friday night. You said you have only had two managers ever. He asked you to pass it. Mm-hmm. Were you a wee bit no worry because you can listen, you can date fucking easy. But was that something you thought? I'm not sure about that. No, no. You actually wanted it. Aye, aye. aye. I did the wee bit in the back of my mind saying that it's maybe a good thing that people. Coming to the end of my career, can see that I can actually play a wee bit. Aye. Uh, even when we did it at Rotherham for the six weeks under Alan Stubbs until he got the sack, I was I was comfortable mm-hmm. doing that. Mm-hmm. that it's, like, I didn't mind it, and it was good last year mm-hmm. up at Inverness that we played out for the back because it, it let me show that I can play and drive in with the ball. Uh, whereas normally I would get it, and it's it's all about hitting the striker and playing off seconds, and then we play in yeah. their half. I stayed knew it's build. We build up for the back. It's mm-hmm. it's good. I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Cookie can do it. No, huh? Cookie uh, can drive in. You see when Cookie goes. Yeah. Oh, he's a leg. Mm-hmm. He, he can get up the park. Don't worry, I But he's a winger. Right? I know. So he's obviously comfortable doing it. Well, I'm surprised it was a winger about Peter Heath, but he, he reads the game really well. Centre back. Yeah. yeah. He drives in, gets you up the park, 30, 40 yards, gets you a free kick up the pitch. Uh-huh. He's been a good addition in the centre. The left side. Really good. Centre. Definitely. But again, even then, a good thing as well that they see things on the pitch and they come out to me. So Saturday, Adam, Adam Marini was a, a, another example where they've just left three up. Aye. So we usually get our two full backs to go, but they've said, listen, they're full, one of the full backs needs to stay. So if, right, you're on the pitch, you see it. See when you start. What if the ball's going up that side corner? I just used to. Mm-hmm. So again, they're seeing things in their tent. That's what you want older. That's Aye. what you want older players. So when you started management, so I don't want to keep on you. But did you think if somebody dashed you that during the, before you started management, do you think if a player came to you, you'd have went, oh, no, no. No, 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 no. I was, I was massive on players, players yeah, having I, their say. Older players, especially guys who have played higher than I have, because again, fuck, brothers knows me about defending. I do. That's why I brought him in here, not just to be a defender, but to help me. I, I said course, that to him and I signed him. So, they guys are. I, I don't know if you met. Fuck you, don't know if you, don't know if you. I've seen that. We need to lean on guys like like these. I think I seen that when you were Peter. He don't know, but the gaffer let you do that. Exactly. When I was the on the pitch, and I like so that. So you can see yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. So you like you did it, so maybe uh, you took it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. By the way, the cr- brother, did you get abused with the crowd? Aye. <laughs> <laughs> it was hostile, mate, wasn't it? Some of the shots were shocking. Ah, you're wrong. Your tan got it, aye. My teeth. Your teeth got it. I haven't got it. Nah. He's only got it once. I was fine. I got it both. I know that. You know what's going on here, mate? The ones here on the far side were shocked. They were getting tinned, the camera guys. It was when they were slotting your trainers, mate, and I looked to it and had fucking pointy brogues on my tracks, and I was like, mate, come on, didn't I slap him? I had a 70 year old woman. What, giving you? Aye. 70 year old woman, right? Just up for the dog. <laughs> you know? wrote it right for the start. I thought your mum was in the good nigga. Yeah. She ended up going up there. <laughs> <laughs> Different world up there, mate. Oh, oh. wild, wild. I love it, it's hard. I want to fight with a couple of the boys, no Devon, that was there, and they were. What a fight with him because they're shouting on it with Ed and he's obviously like <laughs> fight and then and nearly got to fisty cuffs. Brilliant. And and in the stage that they had the security. You should want to jump in, didn't you? I was out of war. But um, he's doing it. He's so jump so in. then after it, it nearly came to fisty cuffs. The boys like after it. Well done. You want to go for a pint? He's like, get the fuck. I want to go for a pint. Aiden's dad, wasn't it? Aye, step dad. Aiden's dad and step dad. I quite like that. No, like it's just. Part of it, man. Maybe not when it goes a bit too far. Too much and whatever. But. James Grant's man down there as well. Dan Wilson's man down there as well. Uh, unbelievable. Brilliant, mate. Unbelievable. He's, he's another one that goes under the radar ball. for James Grant. I, I think he's doing. He was great. Just amazing. Sam. Really well, mate. Yeah, he's big boys. <laughs> <laughs> Running about with I big boys. Feeling him there? Did we feel him? Like we do. The dress, the celebrations in the dressing room. Honestly, if I was to say what's my favourite thing about that, is that. Part in the change room after the game. You're like that every week, which is good. No, we. Uh, Do you know what I mean? I think that's a really good thing because it shows that when he's getting, it's like that relief of a great result. Let's enjoy it. Idea. And I spot him because he knew, right? So, so Sunday and Monday, it's no like we're still. I'm going to have a and we're jumping about the house and it's like me naked on buzzing. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> we're what, no, but, but we're watching. We're what, what? But we're watching the game back and going, well, that needs to be better. Yeah, this yeah. needs to be better. So if we were going to just go in and say, boys, that was absolutely amazing. Let's party all about next round. No way, you can't. You can't be like. But as long as at the moment you've got to enjoy yeah, that, right, ain't you? Right. Course, yeah. And then the bust away him, lads. <laughs> that is, Mate, the boys' parter is brilliant, isn't it? See some of the things that were getting shouted on that bus. I was genuinely pushing myself after. That's brilliant. Been again for twenty seen again. Twenty two years I've been in the game. I've never been on a bus journey like that in my life. Is that your? Was that your best journey? Best. Best I I've never there been. Was no, <laughs> there was not. I can't imagine you know, there was not a quiet bit. There was not one quiet bit for four hours. The wee bus driver was a legend. Uh, he was a legend, mate. He was bus a legend. Bus was unbelievable, wasn't he? Stopping, get the bottles off, and emptying the piss for the hangman away again. Oh, it's brilliant. It's even like people that you didn't expect it for. Did you, have you told them what you heard Jacob say to them? So I'm just going to Lynn's motor, I'm fucking bluttered. 
Jake and Quiet, are, aren't they? I'm just going to do a bit of shot at the door and um, Jacob and Dibs going out to the motor. But I think Dibs taking his time and he goes like to him, hurry up, ginger pubes. <laughs> 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 Jacob was on the bus saying Parry Mainly Was he? He's got a uh, uh, student accommodation <laughs> Barzo and Mrs came and picked the boys up after And Barzo sent a video in of them all singing But she looked absolutely fuming Did you seen it? Uh-huh. Yeah, did, he told me she It was the two top. samples still, wasn't it? I need wonder Me, Dove was there I was Dove there, wasn't it? Dove and Barty Barzo was after her Was he at Barzo? He's like, no, he's got his motor come Get him at five in the morning Did he? Who's the drinkers? Everybody. Everybody. Ah, you're driving, Who's the serious drinkers? Simples are up there, isn't he? Simples, I've got to say they were up there. Nah, they were up They were at it for a while. Yeah, everyone was still But then they go out after it. Some shift for them. Aye, aye, but the boys were enjoying themselves. Baby Simps got their asses kicked off their man on Sunday morning. Did they? Aye. Jamie spewed oil of the garden. I turned a few boys into the tune as well. Did you want to say the duty? I turned Jim, Brock, Evan... And good looking motor that It's a great looking motor that Good looking boat motor that for you man Drop my boys in there Aye and the Kingston Bridge was shut in the way back Don't get him at half eleven I don't think any other shouts that happened Remember I mean John Dodge He'll not be back in another bus with us again <laughs> Gabbo Gabbo Oh get, tell Gabble. this man Jess is brilliant I was having out the back And there's Gabbo going through wee Regan's suitcase Because Regan was the only one to bring a suitcase, suitcase for him <laughs> He's putting on his clothes and Regan's like, I've got a jump on trainers, I know. He's chucked his trainers off and left them on the bus. Regan's put in the chat, him to get my trainers. Is that the Blinty Angus? Uh, uh, the Blinty Angus. And the fake Regan. No, I think Regan's got a few quid, but they'll be there. He's funny, Regan's a funny boy. Regan's a great boy, and we were talking about this yesterday, but he was absolutely sick on the bus. I was worried about what you were raging on, though. Barzo was an absolute hero on the bus. Barzo was. Uh-huh. He had. Pr- he was funny. Who? Like jo- George Fraser got his tie done. <laughs> he didn't know why he said they'll leave it up to us. He didn't know why he come on the podcast, George. Oh, did he know that? No, too scared. I think the big man. To be fair, George gave the boys a few quid, didn't he? Uh, I had a carry out, didn't he? Go uh-huh. Cammy, go to the camera as well. So he I did. Right. That was when you had. That was when he had his arse out, wasn't it? Aye. Uh-huh. That's what he did. Uh-huh. He's strange he had his hands down his trousers at the same time. <laughs> He's like, ah, why one hand down, one hand down. the seat as well. He <laughs> <laughs> so uh, jumped in the seat and it flipped off. Seat flipped right off. Ah. I need a few quid, don't you, for that? He's actually raging as you've got a home though, aye. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yeah. I think we should still go away, but... <laughs> 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 she just got the bucket about me staying and come back down. Any more about the bus journey before we move on? You no, started climbing up a wee bit, aren't you? I think you're just a week a bit caught the new because you're the manager, so you can't really. No, I, I thought it was alright. No, you asked me seeing you live, isn't Eh? Is it difficult for you because obviously you no, just know all the finish uh-huh. And then you see, I know you like a wee, you like a wee, wee, drink, a wee social Sunday. Do you sit there and think, oh, but you've got to be. No, I couldn't get any worse now, so standing up the back of that bus for four hours. No, but you were involved in all, didn't you? Ah, it's nice yeah, but. Nah, fuck that. That's they they the basically stood up the full four years, didn't they? Aye. Nah, that's not for me. I could go back to the club. Is that a nightclub? Storing. Be the boombox or not? <laughs> Couldn't you leave the boombox on the flare? They had to yeah, store it. It's on the shoulder, wasn't it? It's on the shoulder. I know the boys yeah. were there. Well. <laughs> I've never heard a, a team that, that, I mean, there were players that came in like, for a week training. And they were getting songs made about them. Yeah, they were getting songs made about them. Hadi, 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 no, but boys, it was absolutely special. So just a wee uh, question before we go here to training. How was, how, what did you make of the draw, mate? The draw, I wanted a big draw. I said that to you, I wanted a, a Dundee or a Thistle or a, but I was good test for us. Yeah. But uh, Brian Rice is actually a, not a big influence, but an influence on how I want to play football because when I came up to Dundee, him and Yogi's Inverness team, I absolutely loved playing again. I was usually on the bench watching them, but I used to love watching them playing it for the back and uh, made the point to try to get close to Yogi through Kev McBride and I've spoke to him a lot about football chipper as well about how the day hangs so but yeah, I'm, I'm actually looking forward to going and playing against him now I, I've been watching these teams for years and kind of admiring them fair far so um, as I say to the boys there's nothing to fear but it'll be a great test for us it'll be interesting it'll be two teams trying to play yeah wonder if he, uh, he'll have something up his sleeve the older man's always dead yeah, yeah, yeah well mm-hmm. we, we played him at Peterhead and we actually started the game really well against him I think we went up last year and he changed that at half time and made a couple of tactical changes that were really good and it ended up winning the game 2-1 so I've no doubt, mate, if he, he will hear a couple of things where he could change it here and there, that's why he's kind of had the career he's had in it. Yep. Amazing. Del, what a weekend, mate, wasn't it? Pleasure. Finish it with a few last words. I don't know about that. You're not saying much. <laughs> that's it, finish now, till we're fully focused no, 100%. on. 100%. Yes. That's, that's what I was thinking, that's what I was saying there, it's all right, have you, you enjoy the moment it comes, but now you come into the week, that's it, full focus. What's the room getting done? 
Oh my oh, god. The first two coaches in done. history to get a room done. There was a telly in his tucked in with a sheet and top it, wasn't it? But I, I, I was, I was watching the clip, the video back today, the, the game. I think I, I'm going to go to that play the day and speak to him. But I keep on thinking, Marlis going to hang that seat. How they're going to take me serious tonight? I can imagine him just looking at me and they're like, "Has we banging about that bus?" <laughs> but boys, thanks so much, and absolutely amazing. What a weekend! I'm ready to go. Well done, boys. Superb.